Oh, shoot, I forgot my mask. Mission failed! We'll get him next time. What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffles, and thank you for joining us for another Figure Fix Friday. Today, we're not really fixing a broken action figure. We are modifying a current accessory for an action figure. And today, we're going to go over little armory paints. What we have here, a airbrush setup. If you guys are unfamiliar with this, you can visit my Twitch on twitch.tv forward slash dstar01. I paint customs every Wednesday. So yeah, go ahead and join us there and watch me live stream. But for now, we are going to be looking at paints and we're going to make this little armory M4 into the Task Force 141 M4 from Modern Warfare. That's right, we're going to be making a customized M4 from a video game. I'm pretty psyched about that. I'm going to tell you the process on how to do it. But first, let's go over these brand new paints. What are we looking at here? These are lacquer paints from Mr. Hobby. These are all gun colors, which is really nice. We rarely get to see anything dedicated to firearms in models. So these are really excellent. So here are the here are the colors that you can pick from the little armory line. We have here a kind of like a flat black, which has a metallic sheen to it. This is a common thing that you see in most assault rifles. Here's something called Parker gun or Parker gray. It's Parkerized gray. Uh, and then we have a wood brown right here. So you can use this for like an AK stock and whatnot. And the one that really shocked me is this one, is the stainless steel uh, um, silver right there, which has a really beautiful sheen. When you see it against the light, it just looks just like metal. So those are the four. Let's put them here. So that's what you're dealing with. These are all airbrushed on. You can also use a regular brush, which I will show, I'll just show a few strokes at the end of the video. So that will be really, really fun for those people who just want to know how it looks like when you just use an air, or sorry, when you use a regular brush on these. So what are we actually going to do today is we're going to combine, not these two, we're going to combine Parker Gray or Parker Gun in the black. And this is exactly what it's look, looking like. So we have kind of like a undertone of the Parker Gray, and then mostly it's black, and you're going to get something that looks very accurate to the Task Force 141 M4, and that looks really, really solid. Also, don't forget, you can get these paints at www.dstartoys.com, your live source for action figures. So what are we going to do first? Usually I start off with a Mr. Surfacer. But I already tested out the paint on this M4. As you can see here, let's see if we can focus up. As you can see, it goes on really, really nicely already. There's really no need to put a surfacer on there. At least that's what I think. Uh, I guess we'll see later on the video if that's the case. But so far, it looks like it's sticking. It's not having any issues. I can take my finger right there. None of it is rubbing off, so it looks like we're really, really good to go. Uh, one thing... I highly, highly recommend you use the Mr. Color Rapid Thinner for this because you're dealing with metallic paints and you want this to dry as fast as possible. The Mr. Color Rapid Thinner is the way to go. Also, uh, just to go over equipment, I'm using my uh, Creos Custom 018 Airbrush. This is the PS771. Highly recommend this one for ultra fine details, which is what we will be using. I'm also just using some standard really thin masking tape that I got at Hobby Lobby. So we're going to mask off the pieces that we don't want to be colored that custom color. And the reason why I chose this little Armory M4 was mostly because it already looks almost like it, right? There are a few things that are missing, of course. Um, the things that are missing is the rail covers in the front. This one's a one-piece rail cover, whereas the Task Force 141 has two pieces right there. The drop grip doesn't have this forward part right here, but it's still similar looking. And the one thing that's kind of annoying me is even though it has the correct pop-up sights, the pop-up sight in the front for the little armory gun is not popped up correctly. So you can never get that going up because this gun was honestly made for the EOTech site that it comes with. 
But nonetheless, we got something that's pretty darn close because of the tan color, the correct sights and whatnot. So we're going to get it as close to the Task Force 141 M4 as possible. And what's great about Little Armory compared to other um, little accessories or M4s that you can get, they come apart. And this makes things so much easier, especially when you're customizing uh, customize painting your guns. You can just take them apart. You don't have to really worry. You can get these alligator clips and you can get started. So we need to mix the Parker gun with the black. Things might get a little loud. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a few drops. So let's put this back here. So that's the color we're looking for, a Parkerized black. So we will put two drops of the Parkerized gray right there, maybe three. But what we really want is we need more of the flat uh, gun black. So we're going to put more. I'm going to put about five maybe six in there. Then I'm going to take some of the rapid thinner and the consistency you want to go for is like milk. So I'm going to put about nine drops of the rapid thinner in there and we're going to mix it up. All right, we're gonna do a quick test. Okay, let's talk about the settings of the airbrush first. Uh, I put it to, from zero, I, I uh, counterclockwise, a little bit to one, almost to two. No, we're mostly one right there. And then I put it to the lowest pressure on the bottom right here. So we control the trigger pull down to one and we put it at the lowest pressure where it actually can let go some paint so we can get in there with some really nice fine details. So those are the settings for that. Also, I'm gonna put up on the screen exactly how many drops we're dealing with. Uh, I put in three of the Parker, I think five of the black. Uh, maybe you wanna go six if you wanna go a little bit darker. And uh, I put about 12 drops of the Rapid Thinner, so it got it to that consistency, so now we're dealing with something really nice. So now that that's done with, let's, uh, let's start masking up the, the spots we don't want um, we don't want to be colored black which is mostly the stock so I'm gonna handle that right now pretty simple you're just gonna take your tape and you're gonna tape it up I mean one second all right so pretty much all we did was uh, tape up the stock and everything else is gonna be colored black as you can see on the task force 141 m4 uh, we need the upper receiver black we need the barrel, the flash hider, and the uh, rail system black, and we need the, uh, the uh, tube here, the stock tube, to be colored black as well. We might as well put in the magazine. Their magazine, I don't know why they do that. They just put tape on it. <laughs> That's really silly. Uh, but here we have a mag pull, uh, magazine uh, puller thing for, uh, for a quick draw. Sorry. For your for your vest, but so sure we're just gonna paint that up as well. So let's get started. All the tan parts we're just gonna put aside so we don't get any splatter on them. Our paint is ready to go. Let me grab some gloves. Okay, so all we're really gonna do is paint this black. That's really it. Or paint it our custom color, and then we're gonna see how it looks at the end. And then we will showcase some of the figures with the with the color, and it's gonna be really Hopefully. All right, we're gonna work on the stock. We already got that all taped up and all we need to do is just paint this too. What a nice even coat. We're spraying from quite a distance here. About three, maybe four inches away. Don't wanna to get too close where it cakes up. Let's get the top there. Make sure you get all sides. And we want to just layer it on. 
Ooh, that's looking really nice. So there you go. Give that a look. Looks really nice. I like that metallic sheen it gives. Okay, next up. Let's uh, put this aside for it to dry. Actually, it's a rapid dry. It should be pretty dry already. Let's talk, touch this right here. Ooh, look at that. The rapid dry thinner really gets it nice and dry already. That's really cool. Now we're going to work on the stock here. Let's put these alligator, or not on the stock, sorry. On the uh, rail system here, we're going to color that the same color as well. No surfacer needed, really. It's sticking really nicely to it. Want to get a little closer to this rail system because we want to get in between the rails so we do not see any more of that tan. But we always, always want to keep the brush moving up and down, or left and right, so you don't stay in one place so it all cakes up. And that's looking really nice right there. Remove the barrel. We're going to work on the barrel next. We'll get the top. There you have it. Rail system is pretty much done. My glove broke. <laughs> That's okay. Wow, that's already dry. Next thing, the receiver is next. Like I said, this is so simple because everything is already in a in a, in a separate piece. So we really want to grip just the bottom part here. There it is, and then we'll go to town on it. Look at that, guys. Now we just want to get this bottom part that we missed because of the gator clips. And that's it. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Let's look at that. Oh, beautiful. We'll put the gun together, and I'll show it to you, and then we'll showcase it with some figures. All right, guys, we're done. And let's take a quick look at this M4. And let's look at Mio there. Wow, wow, wow. That M4 looks absolutely stunning with the mix of the flat black and the Parker gray. We have a very accurate looking M4. Let's see how this M4 stacks up with the picture. And there's the picture right there. Let's back it up. And there's the M4 right there. So it looks really, really good. Pretty accurate to the game. Uh, before we continue on, I'd like to look at these paints real quick. Here's the little armory black, Parker gray, the wood, and the stainless steel silver. Let's go to the top cam right here. So on the top cam, you can see what I did right here. This is how they look like when I used a paintbrush. So a lot of people who don't have an airbrush would like to know how it goes on on paper. And let's go to the front cam and I'll show you exactly what I mean. As you can see, this paint is extremely smooth, hardly any uh, paint brush paint brush strokes you can see a little bit on the stainless I mean it's still there on a, uh, on the stainless and a little bit on the Parker gray but the black looks like it went down really smooth as well as the wood stock right there so uh, I mean if you look really close you can see some um, brush strokes but yeah I mean if you just want to paint it on you don't have the time or you don't want to spend that much money on an airbrush then doing a regular brush is fine as well so there you go that's the brush test on those that looks really really solid let's take a closer look at this m4 up close 
I just want to take this off Mio real quick, and we'll put him on, put this gun on other action figures. And let's look real close at the details right here. As you can see, we colored it really nicely. Looks like we missed a little bit right there, but that's okay. And let's look at this side though. Ooh, looking really, really clean. Really, really clean. It looks like we got rid of most of the tan on the rail system, and the magazine looks fantastic as well. Uh, lastly, I did hit it with some uh, flat spray, which is the Mr. Hobby UV Cut flat, uh, flat spray, so that looks really, really nice as well. So there you have it. That is the Task Force 141 M4A1. Uh, before we leave, let's put it on some action figures. And what do, who do we have here? No other than Venom Snake. This is the Limb Toys Venom Snake. So if you want to put that M4 on there, you want to custom color that M4, let's look at that. That looks absolutely amazing on Snake right there. Let's put it on another action figure. What we have here is the Mafex Deadpool. And let's see how he looks when he has this M4 on. And there he is enjoying that M4. Ooh, look at that eye. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so there he is. There is your Mafex Deadpool. And for something more realistic, we have the Damn Toys SAS Soldier. And this one looks like it's more of a Call of Duty uh, type thing. And there you have it. There you go. And that's how it looks. So, so far, so good. I'd have to say this looks fantastic. Let's just leave it on the SAS guy. I think it looks really nice on him. And uh, yeah, let's come up with the conclusion of this. Absolutely love these paints, the little armory paints. You can get them at dstartoys.com, your liable source for awesome action figures. We should have them in stock. They're really cheap. They're only $3.50 a piece, and they'll last you a very, very long time, which is something that's really great. Uh, one more thing. What M4 are we using? We are using the little armory uh, M4, the LADF05. This is the girl's... Frontline M4. So that's the one you need in order to achieve that look. If you're looking to make the Task Force 141 M4, you need this one. And I think that's it. I will once again, at the very end here, I'm just going to pop it up on screen. This is the formula to get that color if that's what you're looking for. Pretty much you just need the Little Armory Black and the Little Armory uh, Parker Gun, and you need to mix it up with some uh, rapid thinner and you should be good to go anyway guys thanks for watching do not forget to rate comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when we post new videos and also don't forget to go to www.dstartoys.com you're the source for awesome action figures we all have we have that little armory m4 and the paints as well thanks guys and i'll see you guys next time peace Hey you, thanks for watching, rate, comment, and subscribe, where? Right here, not there, right here, you, and thanks for watching, so, rate, comment, and subscribe, right here, right there, right here, yeah.